I always wanted to have my name in all the papers. Before I met Amos, I dated this well-to-do ugly bootlegger who liked to take me out, show me off. Ugly guys like to do that. <laughs> Once, it said in the paper, Gangland's Al Capelli, seen at Shea Vito with cute blonde Corrine. That was me. I clipped it and I saved it. I always wanted to have my own act. But it was always no. 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 They always turned me down. One big world full of no. And then I met Amos. Safe. Sweet Amos. Who never says no. I've never done this before, but it is such a special night. And you are such a great audience and I really feel like I can talk to you, you know? So, forget what you've read in the papers. Forget what you've heard on the radio because I'm going to tell you the truth. <laughs> Not that the truth really matters. In the bed department? Oh, Amos was... Zero. He would make love to me and it was like he was fixing a carburetor or something. I love you, honey. I love you. <laughs> so I started fooling around. And then I started screwing around. Which is fooling around without dinner. <laughs> And then I met Fred Casely, who said that he could get me into vaudeville. That didn't really work out quite as I planned it. <laughs> I mean, it, it really didn't work out that great for Fred either. So I gave up on the whole vaudeville idea. Because you got to figure after all this time, opportunities just pass you by. But it ain't, oh no, 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 but it ain't. And now, now, if this Flynn guy gets me off, And with all this publicity? I got me a whole world full of yes.